Welcome to 3.12's Math Moment. Today's students learn strategies for distinguishing between multiplication and division in word problems, which can be very tricky. So we're going to look at two different examples here. The first one says, Amanda must practice 12 hours for her dance recital. If she practices one-fourth of an hour each night, how many nights will she have to practice? Now, students are going to see the word of and automatically think, oh, I must multiply those numbers. But if we really think about the situation, this is actually a division problem. Okay, if Amanda must multi uh, practice 12 hours for her dance recital, and I've, so I've got these 12 hours and I only practice a little bit each night, the amount of nights that I have um, is actually, to find that answer, I have to divide. All right, so remember with our generalizations that we learned about in 3.9, when I normally would multiply whole numbers, my answer would get bigger. But because I have a fraction, my answer is going to get smaller. So in order to make my answer bigger, I need to divide these numbers. So how many nights will I have to practice? I'm going to take my hours and chop them up into one-fourth chunks. All right, so if I take 12 divided by one-fourth, so again, division, breaking those into different chunks each night, I'm going to keep, change, flip, keep the 12 over 1, I'm just going to put it in fraction form, change to multiplication, and then flip the 1 fourth to 4 over 1. Once I have it all lined up, I'm going to just t take top, time, top times top, 12 times 4 is 48, 1 times 1 is 1, so my answer becomes 48 nights. So Amanda would have to practice 48 nights if she only practiced one-fourth of an hour. Um, she would it would take her a long time, but it makes sense because a fourth of an hour is not very much. And if I have 12 hours total, all those fourths, it would take me 48 nights to get there. So the next example says, Jennifer practices half an hour with her dance team, or with her dance teacher. Her teacher tells her she needs to practice 10 times as much. How much rehearsal time does she need? So this problem actually gives me a multiplication word, right? And it is a multiplication problem. If we have a half an hour with her dance teacher and she needs to practice 10 times that much, we're just going to take 1 half times 10. I'm going to place 10 over 1 so it has a top and a bottom. 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2. Now this is an improper fraction, so I'm going to have to take the top number and divide it by the bottom number. 2 goes into 10 5 times, which gives me exactly what I need. And my answer becomes 5 hours. Now if you're thinking, does that make sense? It does, because a half an hour, if we think about just half hour chunks, if her teacher wanted her to practice 10 times as much, Okay, five hours makes sense because two half hours would make one hour. If you have any questions about 3.12 and distinguishing between multiplication and division in word problems, make sure to see your math teacher.